So hello friend, this is Rupesh and you're watching CVKNUT's video series on C++17 series and this video is about variant. So this variant thing actually replaces union and it replaces for very good reasons. So let me show you a union case here. So I hope you remember like why we use union and all right, like you put bunch of data types like integer i, double d, character pointer c and put them into union and there is some struct here with some name okay so this union is actually inside that struct now we all know like what is union if you don't know what is the use of union please go ahead and watch my video on union and if you know that if i'll do something like this we have a name n and n dot i let's say i'll do 10 and if i'll do n dot d is equal to maybe 10.1 and so on. Now we know that it will always point to the last modified value. That's why this is union. We are saying that I'll be needing any one of them at a time. I don't want all the values at, a, at the same time. So that's why it is union, either of these at one time. And the rule is whatever you initialize, what data type you initialize in the end is actually holding the correct data. Rest if you try to access that is undefined behavior. Yes, that is the pain and variant will actually solve that. You got the point? Here you see that, okay, n dot d is equal to 10.1 is initialized. Now let's say if I want to print n dot i, this is not defined behavior, this is undefined behavior because this doesn't exist anymore. And there was no way to know that what variable do exist in union. And that is actually solved using variant. So let's quickly jump there. So if you'll see here, we have this variant instead of union. Now it is a variant and this is a class. You give any type here, like we have integer double and string here. So now consider this V as the union and we do V is equal to 42. We don't have to actually specialize that what value we are going to initialize to. So we'll just simply initialize this, this and this. And as it also works like a union, it will always hold this cpp nuts and it won't hold these but now the question is if i try to get the integer part like the integer was 42 what if i want integer part i should have a way to check if that exists or not so this is the actual way we'll try to get if this type from the variant if this exists in that case it will return the value non null pointer value otherwise it will return null pointer so always remember this if it has the value in that case it will return the value itself otherwise it will return the null pointer so the moment you return the null pointer here you will know that okay i don't have to process this okay you will go to the next one you will go for double in this case does this exist okay it won't go even here also because double also doesn't exist finally it will go here let's quickly see that i'll compile it and if i'll run this see it is just printing cpp nuts that's it so it is actually a type safe and before you had no option to actually verify that you would have noticed that in c17 and further they are mainly focusing on improvising what we already have like the last video was about std any which is introduced in c17 there they were actually replacing the void pointer because void pointer have some issues and any actually solves that and here also union is having some issue and variant is actually solving that so so many improvisations are actually happening right so i love all these things let me know if you like these improvisations so bye bye take care thanks for watching guys and yeah don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends man thanks for watching bye bye take care